All right, so next up in our series uh, is an Appalachian style mountain banjo. Now, if you're uh, catching this video and you haven't seen the others, go back and watch them. Doing a quick run through of uh, some of my favorite banjo builds over the past few years. And um, this one was really special to me because it was the first, what I saw as a legitimate instrument uh, versus the canjo that I made previously. Um, but it also has a different tone to it. Uh, it's what I learned to play a lot of the songs that I know still today on. Um, and it was a really, really fun educational build. It's built out of the Firefox books, uh, like a lot of people start out with. And so it is a uh, prophet style banjo, like the sandwiched style mountain banjo. Uh, yeah, I made mine though out of ambrosia maple, uh, a goat skin head. It has a walnut inside, a walnut neck with bloodwood pegs. Um, and it, if you saw the other video, it's really funny. Uh, I made these pegs for actually for the first instrument I made, and I used them on here, and they fit a lot better, and they worked better. Uh, because, once again, I didn't know a lot back then, and um, so I didn't realize that for nylon strings, these work great for metal strings. They obviously don't, uh, obvious now. So mechanical tuners obviously work better for the sensitivity of metal strings, and that's why I put them on the Kanjo. Um, so I moved these over to this one. And, um, but it has a matching bloodwood heel, and if you want to see more detailed pictures of this, uh, I'll have links below. Um, but this was a really, really interesting build for me because uh, one, it was one of the first ones that I, I felt kind of the sound when you make it. And um, I made the tone ring out of, you can't really see it in there, a little tone ring in there, is actually made from tin flashing that I curled up and riveted and then folded over the top. Um, put little strap pins on there because my daughter wanted to learn and so that's her size for the strap. And um, yeah, it was a really fun kind of uh, interesting build. Now one thing I love to show about this one is the neck. Not because of how I made it, but because of what it is. My grandfather was a clock repairman and um, when I went out to visit him one time, he had a shelf on his wall that was made out of an old, old piece of walnut and he was taking apart some of his shop and he said here man he says here boy you can take that i said okay and uh, he knew i was into woodworking and uh so i've saved it for a while and so i made this neck out of that shelf from my grandfather's shop it's laminated you can see the lines in here it has maple inside with the walnut and i love how the shape of this maple traces up these edges that was not easy to do. And if you notice here on top, so you can get it in focus, it terminates right here at the tip. So that maple line goes all the way to the tip and then right down that center line. So making that was actually a really fun challenge. It's got a holly nut and a holly and coca bolo bridge. Um, and we'll give you a sound sample, but uh, if you haven't seen already, I actually teach a class on this, an online class that's done at your own pace. It comes with all the plans that I've modified and made my own, um, and you can make it fretless or fretted. And um, so I actually have sitting next to me another one of these, uh, the exact same one done in some different woods um, that I did to teach the class. That's what I filmed for these, these uh, video courses. And so they sound completely different. And that's one of the most amazing things to me about instruments is I can make 13 of these and all 13 sound individualistic in themselves. You know, they have their own kind of identity. So uh, we'll hear this one and then we'll take a look at uh, the other mountain banjo and what it sounds like. So, that is the Appalachian style mountain banjo. Like I said, I built one of these on camera, um, step by step, and I have a breakdown for uh, the class that you can purchase and build this on your own. 
And so this is the identical one you can see. The head shape is a little different. The body is made out of cherry, the ambrosia maple. It has a zebra wood um, heel and zebra wood pegs. Um, it's just the scraps that I actually had available that I thought would work really nice. Um, but I want you to hear the difference here. Um, it's gonna do it this way. Here's the uh, one I made. This one has a higher pitch. Really subtly different. So uh, we'll hear this one. And uh, this one has a stovepipe tone ring, not a uh, rolled tin one. So, that is the Appalachian style mountain banjo.